Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for Boxing News and Views from around the internet. Rising British prospect Moses Itoma has advanced to 8-0 off the back of a first round stoppage at the York Hall. He was facing the overmatched opponent Dan Garber. So the 19-year-old, he didn't play with his food and he did what he should against an opponent of this level and basically put it on him from the outset. And the left hand, it was landing flush and clean pretty early on. And at one point, strangely, the referee almost jumped in and it looked like the fight was over, but then he sort of pulled back. Itoma kept going, started to land the right hook in as well, and the referee, after about two minutes or so, or just over, had seen enough. Garber was covering up, wasn't really throwing back, and he was starting to take uh, a few decent shots from Itoma. So it was all she wrote, and actually I think the after the fight uh, post-match interview and the what next for Moses Itoma is where the real news at uh, is at because uh, they were talking about uh, the what next potentially coming out May 18th and then also potentially in June there or thereabouts but they're looking to have him fight seven times this year and that was uh, Francis Warren Frank Warren's son who manages Itoma said that they want to have him out seven more times this year but the time that they come around to the start of next year he should be around 16 and 0. remember they are still wedded to the idea that itoma if he has moved quickly and through the levels steps in the next year or so still has a shot at breaking mike tyson's record for becoming the youngest heavyweight champion and i guess you know many of us are probably thinking it might be a bit of a stretch given he's facing the Dan Garbers of the world, you know, guys that he should be taking out and is taking out, and he has uh, looked good against most of his opponents so far. But I think for a lot of us, we're probably thinking 19 years old, you know, he's got fast hands. He seems to have decent pop, maybe not elite power, but he is going to be a guy that is going to be around the heavyweight division for some years. But is it worth trying to rush him towards something that may not happen will they miss a couple of steps and he trips up at some point because the you know wedded to a goal that really it doesn't does it really sort of matter if he becomes the uh, the youngest heavyweight champion uh, of all time I mean, it's a record, but that didn't define Mike Tyson necessarily. But I think the thing is with all the contenders and uh, different uh, heavyweight champions uh, currently uh, and what's going to happen, the logjam in the heavyweight division, to sort of see a path towards a title within you know the next year until May 2025, I can't see it. But are they sort of saying, you know, it's with an asterisk because would they consider the WBA regular title, for example? potentially but seven fights is what they're targeting for the rest of the year they want to get him out may 18th again and obviously he's going to be uh, this was his first fight for the year so we're almost at the end of march so the next eight months or so nine months he is going to be pretty busy basically out every month month and a half and given he's 19 years old and I don't think the the goal of becoming the world's uh, youngest heavyweight champion is realistic. You know, the current level of opposition that he's facing, I don't mind it because he's got time on his side, a lot of time on his side. And as we're seeing him in this past year or so, year and a half almost, you know, he is starting to develop. The body's changing. He's, you know, he's in better shape and i think just in general when he's interacting with the different personalities on tv he's seeming more comfortable in his own skin more confident as time goes on that will only continue to be um, something that will continue to occur and he'll get better at the inside and the outside aspects of boxing his trainer alan smith he really um, had some superlatives so this was the first fight for new trainer alan smith with moses utoma although he's known him for the best part of six or seven years by the sounds of it he described him as a special talent and he went on to say at the end of uh, his brief comment that if he continues on the way he is he will be the best ever so if that's not heaping on um, pressure i don't know what is but obviously he likes what he's got in his new charge and he can see that there's a lot to work with and development to come because let's face it um 19 years old it's all in front of him and if they guide him right he could have a great heavyweight career 
I'm not saying he's going to be the, the best of all time because I think there's one thing at the moment with the way that they're pushing him. While there might be a lot of hype coming out of Queensbury and on the television broadcast from BT and all that sort of stuff, I don't really sort of see the, the wider boxing sphere picking up on that to a large extent at this point. Just because you know, he hasn't shown us enough yet, I don't think there's the sort of hype that they're talking about in these shows and on the broadcast that exists outside of it. He hasn't had really any viral moments uh, of note that have got him in the public consciousness. Even in the boxing public's uh, consciousness, you know, the, the casual boxing fan or the more hardcore boxing fan, I think they're, you know, not really looking at him. And if they are, it's more of a wait and see approach. I, you know, we have seen him taking the distance uh, twice against uh, guys that are durable journeymen uh, and those rounds were good for him and maybe it sort of stopped the hype a little bit and that's not a bad thing but I think waxing lyrical that he'll be the best of all time at this stage maybe a little premature but obviously I like the confidence that his trainer Alan Smith his new trainer has in him this was meant to be his first eight rounder obviously it ended under one round Dan Garber, we have to say he was brought in at short notice, um, less than a week. So it kind of is what it is. I know some people will be saying he needs to step up, he needs to do this, that and the other. I kind of think 19 years old, you know, there is no rush, no hurry. So I don't, I don't hate it. But I mean, one thing that they probably need to look at is the position on the cards. If they're going to give him what a lot of people would see as just normal opposition for an aspiring heavyweight prospect, you know, does he need to be second on the bill? I know that they're trying to build his name, build the hype, but I'm not sure that it's really kidding. I mean, if he was selling out thousands of tickets and all that sort of stuff, you can kind of go, well, that justifies being, you know, near the top of the bill. But, you know, it is what it is. Seven fights apparently to come. May 18th, they're targeting for his next fight. What'd you make of the fight? It was all over lickety split. Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.